Hey guys, my name's Keon Hushman, and today we're going to be checking out the brand new plugin from SDL Tones, SDL Tone Hub, and how you guys can get Axe Effects and Kemper Tones on your computer. No, I'm not joking. Let's have a look. So before we get into it, I just wanted to say if you guys like the video at any time, feel free to leave a like and a comment on anything you see or hear. And if you want to see more of this stuff, definitely subscribe because I do have a lot more plugin reviews coming soon. So when Sonny from SDL Tones hit me up, I honestly couldn't believe what he was telling me. He pretty much just pitched a plugin that was going to load up Axe Effects and Kemper Tones on your computer. He wanted me to try it myself and how could I say no to that? So in short, the SDL Tone Hub is an expensive plugin that can pretty much load guitar and bass preset packs from SDL Tones for Axe Effects and Kemper. This also includes a wide variety of artists that they already got signed up on their roster, like John Daly from North Lane, uh, Andrew Vivaldi, and even producers like Will Putney. So in short, you don't need a Kemper or an Axe Effects to try out any of the tone packs from these artists. You can simply load up SDL Tone Hub, load up the preset you want, and you're good to go. What's even more impressive is that this plugin includes a tracing amp which reacts the exact same way that the original amp would have been captured. For example, if I wanted to add more gain to this John Daly preset, all I have to do is turn up the gain and it will act exactly the same way as the way John Daly captured the amp in the first place. You can even move the mic around in the 3D cabinet and angle it as well to get the exact tone that you want in the already made preset in the tone pack. And if just the amp and cap isn't enough, you even get a bunch of pedals before the amp and after the amp, as well as an equalizer to play around with. I've also been informed by Sony from SDL Tones that they'll be releasing new artist packs and producer packs for the plugin that will be compatible with the plugin every month. I can tell from the other side of the screen that you're sick of me talking about it and you just want to see it for yourself. So let's get into it right now. So the guitar that you saw me using in the beginning of the video, this is my Fender Telecaster player series um, with a bare knuckle juggernaut in the bridge, but I won't be using it for the demo. I'll be swapping to the seven string just to show the versatility of the plugin. <sighs> okay, so this is my Jackson Misha Mansour signature HD7 seven string. So yeah, this is it. This is the STL Tone Hub plugin. And as you can see, there are five different pages. There's a stomp page with the three different overdrives and a compressor. The amp page, which includes the tracing amplifier, where you can change anything you want about the original amp that was captured. The cabinet, where you can change anything you want about the microphone profile, as well as how far away it is, um, the angle of the microphone, high and low pass, all that good stuff. Moving on, you've got the equalizer with the high and low pass, a high and low shelf, and two different bell curves that you can adjust accordingly to your liking. And then last but not least, the effects page. So you have a delay, a reverb, and then a second effects page with a chorus, flanger, phaser, and tremolo. As you can see, there are a lot of different things that you guys can play around with, and the best part is that you can apply anything you want that you see here in these five pages to any preset up here. So just for example, I'm gonna pick this Archon High Gain preset. This is what it sounds like when you load it up. Okay, so that sounds good, but it's not really the exact way I'd like it. So just from hearing that, the ways that I would like to change it is I'd like to maybe get rid of some of the gain, turn the treble down a little bit and get a little bit more note definition with the overdrive pedal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the amp, I'm gonna play around with the treble until I like it. You might think it sounds a little bit woofy and a bit gainy, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn down the gain just a touch. doing so you get more of that string definition a little bit more articulation in your playing and to take it a step further I'm going to turn the stomp section on and turn on this 808 looking overdrive I'm going to turn the tone pretty much around where I'd have it normally around like 7 to 8 balance all the way up and this is what it sounds like <laughs> While we're here, I guess we can muck around the cabinet. One thing I forgot to mention about this plugin is that it includes a very, very good gate. I found that with some other amp sims that 
the gate in it isn't the way I'd like it. It's not clamping down quick enough, but this one is very, very good and very reactive to your playing. <laughs> and it's not choking off too much. So now once all this stuff is done, we can really fine tune the tone in the equalizer section. So one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop around that 250 to 300 range and kind of take some of that out. As you can tell, it's like that low mid static kind of sounding thing, and I'm not really a fan of it. So I like turning it down by a couple dB in all my tones, and in doing so, I feel that it sits better in my mixes with the bass and the kick drum and stuff like that. And this is what it sounds like. So now that that's done, I'd like a little bit more definition out of my guitars, and what better way to do that than to scoop around that two to three K range and kind of get the definition out of the guitars without getting sizzly. So now that I've fine tuned it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a riff without the equalizer on first and then turn on the equalizer so you guys can hear the difference between them. So starting without. So I'm really liking the way that tone sounds, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little plus icon here and I'm going to save it. What should I save it as? I'm going to save it as Archon High Gain uh, Altered, because I've altered it. That's the first word that came to mind. There probably could have been better words, but that's the word I've chosen. Arcane High Gain Altered. So now I can go back to that whenever I want. Now for argument's sake, say I wanted to add effects on this rhythm tone, all I'd have to do is flick the effects page on, turn the reverb and delay on, and just start soloing away. Say that's too much reverb, I can turn the mix down the reverb, and I can even turn the feedback of the delay to not get many repeats. Say the repeats are too high in volume, I can turn the mix down on the delay. As well as all the other things that you could change, such as the time, uh, the high and low pass, and the depth and the rate of both the delay and the reverb. So now starting off with the chorus, I'm going to go through all the effects on the second page. So chorus. That's very, very cool. That's like Rings of Saturn. Moving on to the phaser. And then going on to last but not least, my favourite pedal on this whole effects page, the tremolo. vibes there. So as you can probably tell from all my explanation and playthrough, this plugin is extremely powerful and you can pretty much do anything you want. 
But now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through the presets, pick anything that comes out to me, and then adjust it on the fly so you guys can see how I would change it. So to start, I've gone into the John Daly North Lane pack, uh, the guitar from North Lane, which is very, very applicable to this channel and the people that are watching it. I've picked his JCM 800 high gain bright preset, um, which is used with the Marshall JCM 800 amp. A Mesa oversized 4x12 cabinet, mic with an SM57 and a 421, using his signature LTD um, JDTB7, his seven string Telecaster type guitar, using the bridge pickup. So, this is what it sounds like when you load it. I really like the way that sounds, so I'm gonna save it as North Lane Tone. So now just to finish off, I'm gonna go through a clean preset with you guys. So I'm basically just gonna pick the Andrew Vivaldi Bogner clean preset and just change it to the way I see fit as I'm playing it. So yeah, I reckon I'm just going to wrap it up there. Thank you guys so much for watching and thanks to the guys again from SDL Tones for hooking me up with such an amazing plugin. Again, if you guys like anything you saw in the video, feel free to leave a like um, and a comment on anything you see or hear. Um, I try to reply to every single comment I get. And if you want to see more of this stuff, like plugin demos, uh, gear demos, all that stuff, feel free to subscribe because I will be doing a lot more of this stuff in the future. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.